My dear friends, today I am going to discuss with you a very important law that is called Ampere's Circulation Law. What it is that? This law states that if I am having any closed loop, maybe circular, maybe of any shape and of any size, and if it encloses some current, okay, some current, you know, it encloses some current and uh, maybe the current is I. Then what will happen? This uh, current I, it makes a magnetic field. And we know very well, the magnetic field along the closed loop, which is formed by this current, that field, field will also be you know, circular in shape, circular lines. Like if I say the current which is crossing, it makes magnetic field like this, like this. Okay. And I'm having a loop of this size. This size means that this distance is R. And I know a formula. What is magnetic field at here? Magnetic field at here in magnitude it is mu naught upon 4 pi 2 i upon r. This is the magnetic field and you know because uh, for a loop r is constant so this field is constant all along the loop. And moreover, like uh, like this is a closed loop, okay. And uh, current which is threading, the current threading or current which is crossed, okay. Um, this loop, this ring, it encloses the current. This current also makes a field along the along the loop. And what is that? The magnetic field and this length element, if I consider the circulation of the magnetic field, because the current uh, develops a magnetic field, it is that magnetic field is also circular in shape mean the field and this length element all along they they will be along the same direction mean i consider like this a magnetic field and and the length element is also the same if i consider this magnetic field the length element it is also along the same direction so all along the loop field and the length element of the loop they are along the same direction this is very important now the ampere's kyoto law says that the circulation of the magnetic field along the closed loop like circulation mean dl vector circulation mean dl vector along the loop along the loop circulation of the magnetic field of mean b vector and dot product circulation of the magnetic field along the closed loop it is equals to mu naught times the total current threading total current which is you know that uh, the loop which enclosed the current that it is I. I is the current. 
and what uh, you know you can find the direction of the magnetic field by uh, using the right hand thumb rule like along this side the current flowing okay along the thumb and curl your fingers like you curl your fingers so the field will be this will be the field direction as well as the current direction they are also along the same so b and dl along this circular loop along the ring they are the same so if i open the dot product it is b dl cos theta okay and integration for the whole loop now because b and d are dl they are along the same direction theta equals to 0 cos 0 is 1 and b is constant uh, allow b is constant for the this particular regular shape regular ring if the ring is of your arbitrary in size then you cannot take b outside the integration because then if it is arbitrary in shape then b will vary but here in my case b is constant for this particular shape so b integral of dl cos here is one because b and dl they are along the same direction and integral of dl mean total length of the total length of the loop what is the total length 2 pi r okay it is equals to mu naught i now what is you know b from here b is equals to mu naught upon 2 pi i upon r or you can say b equals to mu naught upon 4 pi to i upon r so i use the ampere scooter law using ampere scooter law i proved the magnetic field you know magnetic field in magnitude at a distance r at a regular distance r from the current it is of this expression and uh, secondly on the other way around if i use this expression then how can i reach to this formula that's again very simple you consider the left hand side okay let b dot dl is equals to mu naught i this is ampere circulation law now consider left hand side and it is b dl cos 0 because i considered a regular shape regular loop which is circular and uh, substituting the value of b p also we know we already if we know the b from our previous uh, information b because of if you are having a uh, infinite long conductor okay then what is field at some distance from from the infinite long conductor that is this formula uh, if you want to know how this uh, the, it is derived you go to my video i'm giving the link in the description box okay now substituting b here so it is mu naught upon 4 pi to i upon r okay cos zero is one and dl now this is constant this is constant this is constant so mu naught upon 4 pi to i upon r 
and integral of dl which is the length of this loop and length of the loop is the circumference of the loop circumference of the loop is 2 pi r so what happened 2 and 2 4 4 and 4 cancels pi and pi cancels r and r cancels what left only mu naught i that is the right hand side of the ampere circulation law so this is very simple but i proved for circular shape like circular ring circular loop the problem becomes somewhat complicated if you consider uh, arbitrary shape okay but it's not so difficult i'm giving the hint this is a this is a circular path x x is for you this is an arbitrary path and it encloses the it encloses some current it encloses the current and current is i now what about the ampere scutter law for this shape now i'm giving hint you try yourself you again consider the small length element like uh, maybe very very small length element dl1 and the distance of dl1 from here this is r1 then dl2 dl2 distance is r2 and similarly Similarly, like this small element, this is R3, this is DL3. Okay, now cons consider B dot DL, the left hand side of the ampere circulation law. Now, you to break this B dot DL for all the elements like b1 vector dot dl1 dl1 vector plus b2 vector dot dl2 vector and so on so now here you to write now b1 at this distance and you know a formula mu naught upon 4 pi 2 i upon r1 and then because uh, b and dl b1 and dl they will be along the same direction so only dl1 plus mu naught upon 4 pi 2 i upon r2 and dl2 and so on now the next If I consider this length element, like uh, this is dl n, okay, this angle is this angle is d theta n, radius is r n writing here angle equals to angle equals to arc upon radius what is angle angle is uh, like d theta n d theta n angle is arc dl n upon radius r n now in general like if you are having d theta 1 it is dl 1 upon r 1 and so on so this expression becomes 
mu naught upon 4 pi to i upon r1 d theta 1 mean dl1 mean dl1 mean r1 r1 d theta 1 and plus mu naught upon 4 pi to i upon r2 and dl2 becomes r2 d theta 2. Now r1 r1 cancels, r2 r2 cancels. Okay, n plus so on. Now this is uh, you know mu naught upon 4 pi to i now integral of t theta 1 or integral of t theta 2 mean you are adding all the angles d theta 1 d theta 2 d theta 3 and all the angles what is the total angle total angle becomes 2 pi so it becomes 2 pi so 2 and 2 4 4 goes pi and pi cancels what we left mu naught i which is the right hand side of the ampere circuital circulation law or the circuital law so this formula is again applicable for any arbitrary shape and of any size the only thing is how much it encloses the current and one thing is very